band Highway 20 Ride in studio, special guests. We have country artists all the way coming from Nashville, Tennessee. We got Gwen Sebastian. Flew in last night, made it here safe and sound. We're glad to have you. And also right over there on the sixth string, we got Paul. Paul, everybody, woo! Oh, nice. Paul's from Atlanta, Georgia. He's a, he's a Southern boy. So we thought we'd bring a little country music to you. Now, can I ask you, are you guys an item or you just work together? We work together. Okay, I'm just we're like we're like brother and sister. We, well, that's, that's a legit question, isn't it? No, that's you never know. Question. A lot of times yeah. with people who travel, sometimes they are a couple, sometimes they aren't. So Exactly. It, it's always bad for business, though, if you are a couple. <laughs> well, it's like Steel Magnolia. Right? Where's that going to go when they break up? Right. Well, I know. And I'm whole, I think I, I know those guys. Those guys are cool, cool, you know, all, they, they're real chill and all that yeah. kind of stuff. But I'm sure they, it's one of those things. It's like, it's pressure. Yeah. You know, you work work together, you sing together, mm -hmm. you do interviews together. Yeah. Well, the way the, way, the way you ease out of the relationship is very, very simple. You uh -huh. start collaborating with other artists. Oh, that's smart. So what will happen, like Megan will go, hey, I'm going to do a song over here. Excuse me for a second there, Josh. I'm going to go do a, a, a song <laughs> with whoever, Zach Brown right. or Blake Shelton. Yeah. And that's how you kind of ease out of that relationship. Smart. That's the only right. way you could do yeah. it. And then all of a sudden you have a solo career. Exactly. Yes. And, then other, and then still Magnolia goes bye-bye. But that's not going to happen. No. But they're yeah. happy. Everybody's happy. Yeah. Well, Gwen, let's talk about you. Okay. Well, you're from where? North Dakota, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, so you, you're, uh, at what point did you move to Nashville? You know, I moved there about, oh gosh, I don't even know how many years ago. I'm really bad that way. I'm bad with years and bad with anniversaries, birthdays, not good with that. So I can't remember exactly when. It's been a while. Five? Ten? More than, about ten-ish. Really? Ish. Yeah. And, and you moved to Nashville yeah. and said, I'm going to go here, I'm going to do it. This is what I want to do. I, I, you know, I knew as a kid that I wanted to. I, my parents are musicians as well as being farmers and ranchers. And so I grew up with a household of music. And um, it was mostly country music, and so that's where my heart lies. And Nashville, obviously, was the uh, place to go for that. So I, I wanted to move there for a long time. And I thought maybe, you know, I shouldn't think so much about music and try to get it, you know, try to go to school and get a degree. Right. Well, I never did get a degree. Did you go to college? I went to nursing school and... Um, yeah, it just wasn't I for you. Get a get degree. It. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so you said I'm pursuing country music. Nashville's the place to be. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna give it my go. Yeah. How, how's it been going for you? It's been going really good, really good. And in fact, I've been um, really lucky because it's hard. It's hard to make a living doing it. And so I'm very blessed to be able to have found a group of guys that are willing to go out with, you know, me and play, and they're talented. And so we've been traveling and uh, working for about five years. And then got really lucky last October, last year, and got signed to um, a record deal with uh, Lofton Creek and Open Road Records, a joint venture. And um, that's when they released the first single, which was called Hard Rain. And um, I still can't really believe it, to yeah. be honest with you. So that's what we've been doing. You're playing a lot of fairs and festivals throughout the year. Do you find that the, the, the way to make money is to leave Nashville, though? You don't really make money in town? Is it well, maybe on to be the road? honest with you, yeah. You know, I. I um, it's it's like that and and not that that's a bad thing there's a beauty in Nashville too and it and what it is is that you've got all these musicians that come in singers that want that have the same goal and uh, you go down to Broadway and you go into a bar and you listen to somebody play and they're incredible and that might be the only time you ever get to hear them is there because there's so many talented people out there and um you know, we, we actually we played the wild horse and right. you know played the stage oh, and cool. had fun doing all that. And in fact, you know, when we come back, we do that occasionally and stuff. And I love Nashville. It's it's my second home. All right, Gwen Sebastian, she's in studio. There's a big event today, a kind of a concert we're going to be doing. Uh, tell them about that. John. Yeah, it's the Eagle Insider Secret Show. It's happening at noon today at Wise Guys Trolley Square. Gwen's going to be performing. We've also got uh, Anna Kalin from yesterday and uh, the band Truman, which is actually Dan Truman from Diamond Rio, his sons. They yes. started a band. Yeah. They're going to be playing as well. We're going to be doing free food, prizes, and it's just going to be a, a fun party for about an hour. It's going to be heartwarming. Heartwarming, Heart absolutely. Why not? Oh, I like that. <laughs> nice. Well, we have Gwen. We got Paul here. Gwen, I'd love to hear a song. What do you have for us? You got it. Um, I wrote a little song <laughs> about growing up in the middle of nowhere and loving it. And um, are you implying that North Dakota is the middle of nowhere? You know what? I am, and, <laughs> it, and that is the beauty of it. It really is the beauty of it. And and like I said, my parents are musicians, so I knew I wanted to uh, move away, not to get the heck out, but to uh, to be around the um, the industry. And while I love what I do, I'm never gonna forget where I come from. And cool. so that's what this is about. This <laughs> is called VIP.
101.5 The Eagle, and we need to put some stuff up on the Facebook. We got any Gwen Sebastian info on the Facebook page yet, Catherine? <laughs> She's grabbing her microphone. I'm not yet, but I will. Yay! It will be up shortly. Gwen Sebastian, more with Gwen. You're going to stick around, right? You got it. More with Gwen coming up. Carly, how's the drive in? It was decent overall, but we do have an extra.